On December 5th, Congresswoman Elise Stefanik asked the presidents of Harvard, MIT, and the University of Pennsylvania whether calling for the genocide of Jews violated their school's code of conduct. MIT President Sally Kornbluth said, It targeted at individuals not making public statements. Harvard University President Claudine Gay said, It can be, depending on the context. And University of Pennsylvania President Liz McGill said, If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment. Congresswoman Stefanik gave each a chance to clarify. Specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. Uh, is if the yes speech or becomes, no. If the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? President McGill later defended her remarks by saying, Well, we don't prevent a speaker from coming to campus and uh, followed, following the guidance of the United States Constitution based on the views that we think they're going to express. Uh, we sometimes condemn those views if they're deeply inconsistent with our values, but we don't censor or prevent speakers from coming based on the views, even if they're offensive. In 2022, the Foundation for Individual Rights and Expression, or FIRE, a nonprofit aimed at protecting free speech on college campuses, ranked Penn second to last in its survey of free speech on college campuses. FIRE gave Penn a low score for disruptive conduct, comfort in expressing ideas, and poor administrative support, citing the disinvitation of a speaker and five attempts to sanction scholars. There have been similar cases where free speech has been restricted at Harvard in recent years which FIRE ranks in last place for free speech. For example, in 2020, Harvard revoked conservative student activist Kyle Kashov's acceptance over comments he made when he was 16 on social media. Or in 2022, Harvard disinvited feminist philosopher Devin Buckley over her views on gender and trans issues. At MIT, student Talia Khan left her study group because she was told, quote, Jewish Israelis want to enslave the world in a global apartheid system, and that Israel harvests Palestinian organs. But when brought to the DEI commissar, they said it was not considered hate speech. On December 9th, President McGill announced her resignation. President Gay at Harvard has since apologized and said she had been, quote, caught up in the exchange with Representative Stefanik. Harvard's governing body announced their unanimous support for President Gay. The head of the MIT Board of Trustees announced that Sally Kornbluth retained the board's full and unreserved support.